I am freshly awoken from a nap. And when I woke up, I had a notification that these had arrived. So as a post-snap treat to myself and to you, maybe, I guess, we're gonna open these. I have quite the stack today. Sorry for my hair. It looks a little weird because I always look like a Gibson girl when I wake up from a nap. So we're gonna open. So I've got, actually I just shoved this little pre-order in here, but it's a pretty book. So I figured it was appropriate. Then I've got Aardvark Book of the Month, May's Illum Crate, although I'm not sure which one is which, May or June, May or June. <laughs> May was late. And then because they had to switch the book and I've got a fair, fairy loot monthly and then a special edition and then the last in the trilogy in the current book series that they're doing at Broken Binding. But then I have also a story to tell you about my knife. <laughs> so last time my friends Zach and Emily who are lovely people were watching my video and watching me wave around my knife. And Zach, who is a relatively new father, became very concerned about my safety. And he was, I'll pop up, I'll pop up some of the texts here. Uh, but he wants to know specifically if any of you were concerned also. And if so, I mean, and, and if not, why not? <laughs> so anyway, I woke up, actually it was from a nap the other day, whatever, it was a month ago whatever. I, I woke up from a nap to a text saying, look outside your door, you have a package. <laughs> it was a safety knife. <laughs> they sent me a safety knife. So now I have a safety knife. And if I wave it around and bunk myself in the head or something, it's fine. Because it cuts boxes, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, let's get to unboxing. So the first one doesn't need a knife. Oh, it's heavy. So this book actually, I... I uh, should have just, it's going to be a special edition next month. So I'm going to have, oh my God, it's heavy. I'm going to have two copies and I don't think it's going to be worthy. Oh my God, this is beautiful of keeping two copies. And I think I just want this one because it's gorgeous and I don't need the other one. So I think I'm going to, once I get it, put it up for sale because this is, and it's The Night Ends With Fire by KX Song. This is, a, I believe it's a Mulan retelling, uh, but it's adult fantasy. And it's got the pretty sprayed edges. Uh, I don't know what that is, birds? And it goes all the way around, but it's really hefty. And I just, I just love that. I love it so much. Ooh, and the inside is pretty, of course. It's cloth bound, which you guys know I love. Never trust a dragon, just a standard spine. And then the end papers are very pretty also. I just really like the aesthetic, the aesthetic of this book and I feel like I, I'm not gonna need the other one. So unless this is a five star, I will be selling the fairy loot version. I think it's the August book. So you guys will see it. Oh wait, no, it's the July book. So you guys will see it next time, yeah. So yeah, so that's The Night Ends With Fire by Kick. So, so next up is Aardvark. I only got one book this time, like a good, good, responsible person. This one says dress code, dust jacket optional, which is cute because their books are so pretty underneath. It is extremely hot outside. Okay, so the book I got is The Stardust Grail by Yume Kitase. Yume Kitase? I can't, I can't talk right now. You may key to say. So I read this author's first book and it was pretty good. In hindsight, I was a little bit generous with my rating. I bumped it up to four stars, but it's more like a three, three and a half. But I've heard really good things about this one. And I think that they're improving as an author. This one is a heist book in space. In hindsight, also that this author really, her strong suit isn't characters. So that's fine when you're in a heist situation. This is the colors underneath. And there's an octopus on the cover. Is it a space octopus? I'm so curious. We'll probably get to it this month, actually. And this is just the other books for the month. One of the web websites I blog for, Cannibal Read, is doing a bingo challenge right now. And I picked that book for one of the squares. Now, Book of the Month did a really weird job of packaging this. 
Also, they've changed the books, the book boxes. Everything else has changed. They rebranded, which they just, everything is slightly different looking. I don't know why they made such a big deal out of it. And they've changed the boxes again. This is the second time in like six months. Although the bookmark is still the same. It was bound to happen. Submitted by Ashley S. Princeton, Texas. That's not, I, didn't, I don't think that's a great one. I think the one I submitted was better than that. But I'm very excited about this book. Also think I'm getting to it this month, which is unheard of. I never read my book box books in the month that I get them. But this is, I think, going to happen because I'm really excited about it. And that's The Lost Story by Meg Schaefer. I really liked The Wishing Game. It's a really cheesy, schmaltzy, like, sappy book. But it hit me. This one is about two boys who essentially went to Narnia as children. And now they're adults and they have to confront their experience. One of them remembers and the other one doesn't, and I think it's also a love story. So I'm very excited about that one. I love portal fantasy, and I love stories about adults coming to grips with their childhood experiences that were magical. <laughs> so I think this is right up my alley. Also their new motto, what's happening? Fiction forward, but I, I don't get it. They probably spent a lot of money to come up with that too. So let's move on to a Loomer crate. I uh, don't know which one this is. I don't know if it's June or May, so I guess we'll find out. Squiggles of Death. Oh, this is May. Okay. Oh, it's very pretty. I think I like the original cover better. Not gonna lie, but it's very pretty. So they actually, back when the, I talked about this last time, but back when the Kate Corain scandal broke, they had originally had her book for the May slot and then when that book was canceled and they they were like, hey, we're gonna do another book. So they went looking for another book to do and that's Goddess of the River by Vaishnavi Patel. I really like Kai Kate. <laughs> I looked up the correct way, Pippin don't honey, don't eat that. It's not good for your intestines. I looked up the correct way to say it and I can never, everyone says Kai Kate. So I guess that's just what I'll go with. <laughs> this is her second book and it's about Ganga, the goddess of the river. Oh, I just looked at the end papers. They're gorgeous. So I do like the blue and the orange on the original cover, but this is very pretty. I think this is a retelling of the Mahabharata, I think. I don't remember. I don't remember. But here's the underneath. Oh, it's very pretty. Cloth bound. And then the end. Oh, I didn't show you the, the edges. Here is the lady herself. That's very pretty. I enjoy that a lot. Is the other side? Yeah, the other side's the same. So that's a very pretty book. I enjoy that. But I think I do want, <laughs> I think I might sell this because I want, I want the blue cover and I want the deckled edges. I'm pretty sure this has deckled edges if you get the American version. And then somebody will eat this up and, and enjoy this pinker, greener version with pretty sprayed edges. Look for that soon and then I have to go hunt down a copy because I'm reading it in September. Okay, now for June. I'm very excited about this one. This is one of the rare YA fantasies that I had on my radar even before they announced it was being done. And I, I know it's probably gonna bite me and I'm probably not gonna love it as much as I want to, but I live in hope. Oh, that's very pretty. Okay, so this book is called of Jade and Dragons by Amber Chen. Oh, it's thick. These edges are pretty. This is like very much my aesthetic. So here it is without the shine of Jade and Dragons. This is on my fant Reddit fantasy, our fantasy bingo for Reddit challenge. Uh, to seek revenge, she needs to stay alive. This is what the back looks like. And then here are the edges. They are so pretty. I love that. And then it's just the ocean. Put the original cover here. It's so pretty, I love it. I need to love it because this is pretty. Here's the, the naked book with this, I love this green, this green color. It's so pretty. I'm glad they have jade on here in some fashion. And then we have some character art, which is very cute. I like the looks on their little faces and then different character art on the back. I always get a little salty when the character art 
is the same on both end papers. I want different. Hey, don't, don't chew my brand new expensive book, Lily. So this book, uh, I don't remember what it is about exactly. I just remember I wanted to read it. So let's read the blurb. 18 year old, I don't know how to say her name. I'm gonna have to look that up. Ai Hui, Ai Hui Ying. Dreams of becoming a world-class engineer like her father, but after his unexpected murder, our heartbroken Ying is determined to discover why anyone would threaten a man who ultimately chose a quiet life over fame and fortune. I already really want to read this like very soon. <laughs> Left with only a journal of her father's engineering secrets and a jade pendant snatched from the assassin, Ying follows the trail to the capital and the prestigious Engineers Guild, a place that harbors her father's hidden past. Disguised as her brother, ooh, I love when girls dress up as boys in books. Ying manages to infiltrate the male-only apprenticeship trial with the help of an unlikely alley. Ayogia Ye Yang, probably butchered that, the nation's taciturn eighth prince. With her father's renown placing a target firmly on her back, Ying must stay one step ahead of her fellow competitors, the jealous guild masters, and the killers still hunting for her father's journal. Complicating everything is her increasingly tangled relationship with the prince, who has mysterious plans of his own. The secrets hidden within the guild can be as deadly as the weapons they build, and with her life and the country's future at stake, Ying doesn't know who to trust. And can she avenge her father if it means going against everything he stood for? I'm really excited about this one. I'm like, I feel like that sounds so good to me that I, it's gonna, it's gonna flop so hard. I'm, but I'm just, I'm really hopeful. What's with the tiny people in front of the backdrops? Is that like a new thing? Look at. And they both got, this is a phoenix, and this is a dragon. And they're both women dressing up as men. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Yeah, excited. Okay, now we're on to fairy loot. So this is the June fairy loot. I've temporarily forgotten what book it is. Oh, I remember now. So this isn't a book I would have picked up on my own, but I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. Here is the theme, Demons and Deities. Spoiler card if you want to know what the book is. Okay. That's pretty close to the original cover, I think. It's the god and the gumiho. And I think a gumiho is a fox spirit, hence the fox. By Sophie Kim. He's a fallen god. She's a shape-shifting fox. They'll do anything to outsmart each other. Anything except fall in love put the original cover here. I do not like the US cover of this. I'm very glad I have the UK cover. Oh, this is cute. I really hope this is as cute as it looks. We got a little coffee cup. It must take place in a modern setting. And then we've got flowers. I think they're cherry blossoms. And then there's the edges. Those are pretty. And then we have reverse dust jacket art. very pretty actually I like their faces definitely takes place in modern times looks like in Japan oh wait don't want to put that back on yet and because the, then we have character art underneath it looks like it's by the same artist who did the under jacket art them drinking coffee together I want to read this one now too and that's very cute oh this looks so this is such a cute addition I love it yeah but that looks really cute Kim Hani, the once terrible gumiho known as the Scarlet Fox, spends her days working at a cafe and trying not to let a certain customer irk her. Well, this is like a coffee shop AU, basically. Sioka, a trickster god exiled from the heavens, spends his days haunting, hunting demons, pining for his lost home, and irking a particular gumiho. When a demon of darkness escapes the underworld and the Scarlet Fox emerges from hiding before quickly vanishing, Sioka is offered a chance at redemption. Kill them both and his sins will be forgiven. But Hani is prepared to do anything to prevent Sioka from bringing her to justice. Anything that is except falling in love. So yeah, it's a romance. Oh, I'm hot, you guys. Hold on, I gotta get some ice water in me. The way the ice water just like invigorates. So this is a special edition that I ordered forever ago. I have the UK cover of this one currently and I will be putting it up on my Pango. I don't need it anymore now that I have this. And we have got Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands. So I actually like this a lot better than the other cover, the green one. Although I like the green, but it it gives me like kind of a 
a kiddish vibe for some reason. The fairy loot ones are, are toned down and they just appeal, but they still have like the whimsy. I don't know, I, I really like this color scheme. I'm not a huge fan of the third book cover at all, the UK cover, I actually like the American one better. But I don't, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully the fairy loot one is, is pretty and not like garishly pink. <laughs> okay, so then we've got the edges. And the reason I wanted this special edition instead of just getting the, um, the other one is twofer because this cover doesn't really matter to me. These covers I like even better than the American ones. The other one, the first one is purple. It says, in fairy are things that lie beyond the limits of human understanding. And that says, a comprehensive illustrated guide. I don't know, I just really, it's, it's classy as shit. Um, and then the other reason is the character art. I love the character art in these books. I love the way that this artist draws Emily and Wendell. I love it so much. And then it is signed. And I believe it's the same on the other side. Oh no, it's different this time. There, the, the first book had the same illustration on either end paper, but now we've got this one. That's so cute. I love it. I might just have them on my shelves like this going forward. I need to start finding a place to keep dust jackets in, sa in a safe place because I have a bunch of them right now just in my closet, like free floating wherever I can stuff them. Pippin don't. That's that's not for Pippin to eat. That's not for Pippin to eat. No. Okay, but mom, it's fun. It's so fun. All right, one more. So this is the last Loch Lamora book that is currently published. Presumably if another one, the Thorn of Ember Lane book four ever gets published. Broken Binding will do an edition and I will purchase it so I can have a matching set. Ooh, this came with a character. It came with artwork. It's like a print. That's cool. I would frame that. Which city is that? I'll have to look. Oh my god, it's so, it's so thick. Here, Pippin. Here, you can sit in this box. You can sit in that box. It's nice and big for your chunky bottom. Okay. Love this stuff. Bubble wrap. Okay. Wrapped as usual. We have the bookmark. It says Republic of Thieves, June 2024. If you find yourself being born, climb back in as quick as you can because life's a bottomless feast of shit. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what a quote to put on a bookmark. I love it so much. Oh, that's good. That's good, guys. I don't, I don't think I can get, oh, there we go. Ribbon. <laughs> oh, sweet, so shit. Oh, goodness. Come back in. Oh, it's so thick. I don't remember this being so, so thick. Here, guys, you can play with that. This is The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. I've never been a huge fan of this cover, but that's fine. I have these displayed with the edges out like that. And the undercover, like the printed hardcover is so pretty. And it's got like Joker's masks and the city and a noose and tarot cards and a plague doctor mask. Back of the cover says, I can't name the poison that's killing your friend, but the one that's killing you is called hope. There is the front cover. We have people in masks. I don't think either of these is Sabatha, who is the love of Locke's life. But see, this is very pretty. And then the artwork on the inside. Locke looks like a turd, but I enjoy Sabatha. I don't like the way this artist draws Locke, but I like the other characters. And then of course, I've seen this one. Oh wait, no. I thought this was going to be an end paper, but I guess it's just a print because the other one is right here. That's very pretty. I'm about to start my reread of Lies of Wakamora, so I'm sure you're, you'll be hearing more about this series as I do that. That is that. Okay, let's see if I can hold up all of these books. I've got a lot this time. Battery dying. So here's all the books. 
take these top two off and show you the sprayed edges. <laughs> there we go. I do think my favorite one is the dragon. That is really pretty. I enjoy that. Oh, it's heavy. And that's that. A bigger haul than usual. <laughs> I think next time the haul is going to be smaller. And I've got a couple of things that I'm skipping coming up in the fall. So it's going to be smaller then as well. Thank you so much if you've made it to the end of this video and you don't have anything else to say, please leave me an octopus or a door emoji. And if either one of these don't exist, then just do whatever you want. Just leave me an emoji. Just, just surprise me. As always, if you like the video, please feel free to like and subscribe if you want to. And I shall endeavor to go drink enough water as to feel like a human being again <laughs> I'm sitting here sweating that's it that's it for July's unboxing thank you so much for watching and I will see you again farewell